Action. As a generator hums on the roof, director F. Olu Michaels shoots his 14th episode of Remember Me, a soap opera about a girl with magical powers. He says since he got into the business 16 years ago, Nollywood has grown from a ragtag industry into a giant, producing thousands of films a year. It has changed a lot. People, bad jobs don't really make waves anymore. If you don't do a good job, you are nowhere. Bad jobs just die along the line, but good jobs are recommended and people keep talking about it. But Nollywood also suffers from the same woes as the rest of Nigeria. Widespread poverty, insecurity, and lack of electricity. As a result, Nigerian artists say their movies are made on tight budgets and films lack polish. At a fancy country club in Lagos, Olu Jacobs, one of Nollywood's most famous actors, says many movies are shot in only a week for less than $30,000. We haven't got the money to, to, uh, to prolong it for more than six, seven, eight, nine, ten days maximum. Otherwise, uh, you, uh, <laughs> you run out of money. But he says Nollywood movies are popular because they reflect themes Africans can relate to, instead of Hollywood's version of the continent, an exotic land of large wild animals and suffering villagers. I am an eternal optimist. I will tell you that uh, Nollywood is going to improve by leaps and bounds. You know, uh, because more and more people and organizations are beginning to see that this field is respected outside this country. Back on the set of Remember Me, where the generator is still the only source of power, 21-year-old actress, Bronze Manuals, says Nollywood gives young Nigerian artists a chance to make it. It's about the passion. It's about how much effort you can put into it. That's how I say it. This is Manuel's first role after many auditions, but she says she does not want to be just another actress. She wants to be a Nollywood star. Heather Murdoch for VOA News, Lagos.